guys, welcome back for part two of the necklace haul. Trying to keep these short and sweet so you can watch them while sipping your morning coffee. So we have a few goodies left to go through. This bag I paid $25 for. We had all this out of part one of the video. So now we're gonna wrap up and see what we got in part two. So this is a pretty purple barrel bead necklace with kind of like twisted spacers. There is no maker, but it's a nice purple tone. You know, all these spring colors are gonna be great for the summer. Let's see what this one is. You don't have a maker. But this does remind me of that um, Brighton brand, but it's a very nice black and silver. Uh, I see, feel this is more Midwestern, so it'll definitely sell for me online. I'm confident, guys, I'm confident. That kind of like Midwestern boho does well. Then we have some pretty pearls here. Oh, this might be another one of those rosaries. I've had those in another lot. We've got a lot of, hold your ears, we've got a lot of tangle going on here. Trying to see what shakes loose. Okay, so we've got this pretty pendant. Kind of like a flower with the clear beads that leads to the brass. Very nice. Coldwater Creek. So that's another nice brand. Uh, your standard costume jewelry. We like that. This one, I'm excited, finally got it free. This one does have a label. It says 1928. I, I do have another one of their necklaces, but look at that. That is really, really pretty. I love the pearls and the heart. I think that that is really cool. And they glow just a little. It does need a cleanup. The pearls are kind of beat up. It's got this great twisting top. So I think the 1928 is kind of like a vintage looking brand. We do have some, um, this one says, oh, okay, where is it? 14KT6P. 14KT6P. So I'm going to have to look up what that means. Well, let's look it up together, shall we? 14. Fourteen K T C P chain. Let's see. They said, do you mean KGP? If so, it stands for gold-plated, i.e. 18 KGP. So apparently this is a 14 karat gold-plated, but it's, but it's silver. So maybe it's white gold. It might be white gold paint. So... That one I'm going to have to definitely do some research on. That's exciting. That was a good find. And I do have a metal testing kit coming so I can test some of these. This is another nice sturdy silver. Look at the clasp on that. That's all sorts of fancy, guys. This is another well-made um, silver tone choker. It's very kind of like tribal, bohemian. I'm gonna have to search it closely to make sure there's no markings. Sometimes they're on the inside of the clasp, nope. But it's well done, so that'll be a nice one to sell. Let's see what else we can get out of here. Come on guys, come on. Come on. I know it sounds louder than it is. This is just a very simple, it's pretty beat up. Uh, like a copper tone choker. This might just go back in the donate pile because it's pretty, it's pretty beat up. Like it's really, really hard scuffed. And it's very costumey. So, I mean, unless that, actually that might be how it's supposed to look. 
So I don't know. I'll give it a shot. Never hurts to try. So here is another um, choker that is very nice. The metal is very nice. I'm going to have to test the chain. But it's just a cute little anchor. An anchor pendant. It's got a black, kind of a black opalescent stone in it. Actually, it's kind of a navy opalescent stone. There's no marking. So that's just another nice little little piece there. This one's fun. This one says KR. So maybe it's Kenneth Reaction. Now it does have a lot of paint loss though I'm seeing. Like these beads are beat up here. They've got peeling on them. The red has peeled off of this bead. So I don't know about reselling that one. That one might be a no-go. We're going to put that aside. Then we have a nice bee pendant for all the people out there who want a simple silver rhinestone bee. This is nice. No maker, but it's got like these almost little black stones on it. A little gothic in nature. I'm loving, I'm loving the necklaces so much. Then this is a lovely, a lovely necklace. It says clarity and it's got a beautiful stone and a star. So I'm gonna have to figure out what that stone is that goes along with it and then I can sell it. I don't wanna say it's amethyst because it's not super purple, it's got more grays in it. So I'm gonna to have to check that out. These are gonna take research and time but it's something new, it keeps you learning. I love a good chunky accent necklace. The metals and the pearls, it's heavy too. The clasp is really well done. That is just a really, really fun choker necklace. And let's see, what else we got? What else we got? This says Jones, New York. So that's a nice Jones, New York piece. Trying to get all the stuff off of it. It's just a simple gold on gold kind of hammered gold shell looking pendant. Sorry, this is so loud, guys. Come on, let go. This is what always happens when you get down to the end. You get the giant mess. But we will get through it. Here we go. Freedom. So that's a nice Jones New York piece. So that'll go on eBay. Because I can easily identify it. Come on guys, you know you want to untangle. Come on. Alright, we've got another nice chain here. I think this says Giovanni. This says Germany on it. So this is a German chain necklace and it's got an older where you have to push it down to open it and it's got kind of like a slight brassy tone to it so that's a nice one okay are you guys all tangled yes very tangled okay Oh, it looks like we might got this one free. It's got some friends with it though. Let go. This is just a little rhinestone pendant necklace, it looks like. Come on. There we go. No, it says Avon. So this is a little Avon. Rhinestone necklace. And this matches kind of that other um, necklace we had. Again, no maker, just a nice uh, yellow kind of amber stone, tiger's eye style stone on it. A nice chain. Again, no maker. Okay, we got you free. And this says VJ. VJ is the brand. 
and it's got just a like a tube chain, the red beads, and then just a simple little round pendant. We're getting there guys. It's all starting to come together. This is a nice rope, twisted rope necklace. And this one says 14 karat gold plated. So this is another gold plated piece. I'm guessing it's white gold. So that goes with this one we had. So that's two 14 karat gold white plated necklaces in the lot. There's a cross. It's, so this is like a rosary, I would guess, maybe. It looks like it says T-N-R-I on the top. I can't really see. I have a feeling there's a figure missing off of it. So this is some sort of like a rosary. Here you go. And the back says K of C. We have another rope chain. This one is not noted, but I can see the difference in looking at the colors that this looks more costumey, but I will test it when I get my kit. So just another chain. And this one's a very like, this is another Avon. So I may end up doing like a lot of Avon necklaces. That would be cool. We're actually getting through this one, guys. Isn't that exciting? I know on some of the others I had to cut it short. So this is another one of those magnetic closures, which is good for um, ex um, people who have issues with accessibility or their hands. Um, there is, unfortunately, some scuffing that needs to be cleaned off, but it's a pretty... Pretty pearl necklace. And then this looks like a nice gold chain. Maybe not, this might be costume. It's so delicate and fine though, it's crazy. And then the front is just this little, so this is probably just like a little Claire's piece. I see a dragonfly. I see a dragonfly. It's almost like a paper cutout that's been enameled. So let's let's get this untangled. And I think what will help us if I open this up. Oh, so these all hang down. So these are kind of part of another necklace. Wow, that's really tangled in there, guys. We're gonna work through it though because I know you guys wanna see what's in here. Come on. Okay, so this is like a hot mess express. So this is the little, it's a little metal dragonfly and it's attached on a little chain. It's just kind of like a paper drag dragonfly. There you go. And then this one appears to have a bunch of pendants hanging down from it. So that's gonna have to go on like the detangle off camera. Oop, oop, maybe not because I said I wasn't gonna do it. Now it's working. Okay. So you like see this one has just some pendants hanging down. So that needs to go in my detangle pile. Then we have another chunky silver chain. This one might actually also, yeah, sometimes when they have this extra piece here, I think it's so you can, um, hook it to make it, but that would make it too small. Like that would make it really, really tiny. So I don't know what that extra link is for. Unless it's like, you can also, oh, 
close it and have it oh so you can also I guess wear it like this that's weird okay and I just broke my nail yep <laughs> my nails do not like opening and closing all these clasps okay so here's another chain necklace no maker on it it's kind of sticky to the touch so it's tarnished so we're just going to put those in a pile together for testing later and this looks like just another simple chain necklace that might be missing a pendant so I will lot like the ones that once I test I know aren't like anything together It's just like a lot of chain necklaces because sometimes people need chains for their pendants. And then this is kind of a cool little silver necklace. It's got like these three teardrop iridescent beads. That's a pretty one. Then we've got just a simple purple one. And we've got, this one's on a very nice chain actually. Just some like gunmetal silver beads. Then we have another little, like, just a little fun heart and arrow with the blue sapphire stone. This one has no maker, it's just a little, a chain with like a little green rhinestone pendant. And then this guy, I don't even know what this is. I guess it's like a little seashell. You guys can tell me. It looks like one of those horn seashells. And then we'll just go back over here for a second. What is, let's, let's unhook some of these and maybe that'll help if things are unhooked. Well, I know what my afternoon's gonna look like. <sighs> nope, they don't wanna untangle. See, that's a nice little, this one's a separate little star pendant. So that's it guys, that is the last of this bag for necklaces. I do believe I have three more necklace bags coming up. So if you liked the video, remember to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll be back with you all soon.